Hi guys, welcome back to my Genius Hour Project and today we're going to be talking about the crime of the Papin sisters. Now this case is going to be very different from my other cases because this one takes place in France and my other t cases usually take place in the United States. Okay, now let's talk about their early life. So, our main Papines are going to be Lea Papin and Christine Papin. Um, so... Christine Papin was born on March 8th, 1905, and Leah Papin was born on September 15, 1911. They had an old, they have an older sister. They had um, an old sister, and her name was Emilia Papin, and she was born in 1902. Now, these sisters are the definition of a horrible childhood because their childhood was traumatic. In short terms so even before the birth of any of them even Emilia the first one their parents were not okay their relationship was not the best um prior to the birth of Emilia Clemens and Gustav which are their parents Clemens is the mother she was um, involved in a rumor where supposedly she was cheating on Gustav with her own boss. Now, we never knew if this rumor was true or not, um, but it really hit Gustav really hard. And um, they decided, you know, when Emilia was born, you know, okay, let's, let's move. So they moved um, to a part of France. And there, um, everything was oh, kind of okay, but in reality, um, their mother was suffering with severe depression, like severe, and their father honestly was just hitting in the alcoholism. Uh, soon, um, Christine was born, Christine, um, Papine, who is the second child, she was born in 1905, so a couple years up after um, Emilia. Um, as soon as she was born, she was given up to Clemens's aunt because she felt like she didn't want her. She didn't want anything to do with Christine, with her own daughter. Um, we're really not sh even sure why, but you know, she just gave it to her aunt. Like, if it was, like, a little dog or something. So, Christine grew up with her aunt for a couple of years. I think it was seven years. I'm not 100% sure. And their relationship, again, was in and out, in and out. They were good, they were bad. And soon, Clemens got pregnant for the third time, even though she didn't want children. Um, and... During this pregnancy, I'm pretty sure, after the birth, Clemens found out about a horrible thing. Now, if you're very sensitive to some topics that involve sexual, you know, things or molestation of kids, like, I don't watch this or don't hear it. But Clemens discovered that her husband, Gustav, was molesting his own daughter, Emilia who at the time was around 9 or 10 years old. Now, this isn't even the bad part. Like this, I mean, this is horrible. Horrible. You would be doing this to your own daughter. But Emilia didn't even express her, you know, how, may, how can I say it? She wasn't mad at Gustav for basically, like, ugh disgusting like molesting his own daughter your daughter but she she was mad at Emilia because she felt like it was Emilia's fault that she was probably seducing her own father and then she didn't say anything and she was stealing her man like it's crazy and because of this she decided to punish both Gustav and Emilia so with Gustav she divorced him of course as a punishment 
And then for Amelia, as a punishment for stealing her man, she put her in an orphanage. And I'm pretty sure it's called the Le, Le Bon Orphanage. Um, and there, Amelia stayed, like, basically for the rest of her life or something. Um, not really, but she later became an or- um, a nun for the church. So soon after the incident about uh, Gustav molesting Amelia, Clemens decided that she was going to take Leah and make her live with her aunt and uncle, which would make Leah's great aunt and uncle. Then, if you remember, Christine was living with um, Gustav's aunt. She took away christian from the aunt and placed her in the same orphanage as emilia and then leia also was put in the orphanage soon after because her great uncle passed and clemens just didn't want to take them in she was like no just put them in the orphanage i don't know even though they were that young but then she soon took the girls off the orphanage took them with her but it wasn't for hey my daughter i'll take care of you no 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 she took the girls off the orphanage and she sent them to work as maids or as cooks and not even that not even to be like okay you'll work and earn your own money no she would take all their income for herself all the hard work of her daughters working as cooks or cleans for herself for her own benefits which i find absolutely like it just gets me so mad because usually parents will tell you hey work hard for yourself all the money you make yourself it's for you waste it on you pay for your bills for that on you but they never like give me the money like yeah if you see your parents really struggling on rent or struggling on food you'll give them some money to help them out but Clemens was a definition, in my opinion, as a horrible mother. So soon in 1926, um, Christine's mother, Clemens, was able to get them a job for the Lancelin family. I pronounced that so wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, They were offering to pay, you know, a little more because Clemens was more into the money than the actual people. And it was first Christine, and she was, I think her job was to clean and cook, you know, to be like a maid, like an in at-home maid. So everything went well with Christine. She was doing her job good. She was being a good, what they call, maid. And soon Christine was able to convince her their bosses, who were... Um, Leonie, Leonie, um, that was the wife of Mr. Lancelins, Lancelins, I pronounced it so wrong, in Genevieve. That was, um, another daughter, and then there was another daughter that I don't have her name down. So, everything was going well, and then, of course, Leia came in the picture, same thing, just clean, cook give serve and everything was going well she they were living pretty well but soon the woman of the house leonie who again was the wife of mr lancelins started being a little bit of a meanie in that word she started treating the girls pretty bad i'd say she took money away from them if she wasn't satisfied by the job that the sisters did for example if they forgot to clean this wall or they did this or they did break a plate she would take away money from like their income you know to replace something or you know for herself to not pay them fully because she felt like they did bad job 
so the six sisters were like okay you know this isn't good and then soon it escalated to leone physically hurting them like pinching them like hit like pushing them it was bad it was pretty bad and the sisters were not having it at all they were pretty mad about it too even though they were receiving this constant abuse from leone um they continued to work for them for like six more years until one fateful february night it all went tumbling down now on this day leone and her daughter genevieve were supposed to i'm pretty sure go shopping and you know do you know uh Aaron and then go to dinner with her their the husband Mr. Leonsi and I think her brother-in-law I'm not 100% sure or you know her brother so that was the plan for a day and the uh sisters were you know just supposed to clean the house you know like usual you know the routine the 14 hour a day routine but this day, they decided to make a quick stop at home, you know, to get some things. Um, so when they got home, um, Leone noticed that the power system wasn't working. Now, this wasn't the first time that week. It was the second time. And it was some, like, you know, f- thing that just wasn't working out. And... So it was the second time Miss Leone was not having it. She was not. She was pretty, 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 like, pissed about it. So she confronts the sisters. She's like, hey, what happened? Like, why did it happen again? And, you know, the sisters were, like, trying to explain to her. But then she got, like, really mad to the point, like, she was, like, physically, like, assaulting these with sisters so christine didn't let her have it and she got like um something of a glass i don't know a jug or something just threw it at christine's head and she went to attack her and uh leia sees that she's attacking her and she's like oh crap you know and then christine uh you know is hitting leone you know the woman of the house and Genevieve, uh, Leonie's daughter, comes rushing down and she's like, don't like hit my mom. And she was trying to defend her mom. And Christine goes and grabs Genevieve and tries to take her eyes out. Like, basically, like, her eyeballs. And then she tells Leia, take her eyeballs off. And Leia did as she's, as Christine said. And she watched how Christine was taking leone's eyes out and leah just followed and took out genevieve's eyes out like the murder of these women were gruesome like the like the sisters the Papine sisters had like no like they were it was gruesome and this is not even nothing the eyes is nothing compared to the rest so you know they're attacking and uh later on they say that they're like moaning and you know they were like it was it was it was it was gruesome and the Papine sisters didn't stop there they weren't dead yet but they didn't stop there they decided to go get knives hammers and kitchenware and they were stabbing genevieve and leone with these items like not like oh like one stab you're done no like the whole thing lasted 30 minutes 30 minutes so after stabbing these women for 30 minutes straight um they decided they were done but the cuts on these victims were absolutely like disgusting they the sisters cut the victim's faces, the chest, thighs, butts, and private areas. Like, it was so gruesome. and s- s- Like, to the point where you couldn't even notice who that person was. 
you know, it was horrible. And after this, they didn't, okay, freak out and, like, go hide the body or something. They cleaned themselves. They were in the gowns. Do people say that they were in their gowns? Some say they were naked. And they went to bed together. Like, to sleep, I think. Other people have other theories that it wasn't sleep, if you know what I mean. Um, so... They basically went to bed after killing two people in the most cruel way possible. There is, wait, there is, there's not a cruel way to kill someone. No, it was like horrible, like horrible. Such a cruel, cruel way. Not that any other way isn't cruel. Like, even if, like, any other way of killing a person is cruel, period. But this was over the charts. So, after, like, the murders, again, I'll repeat, they went to bed. Now, at around 6.30 or 7, Mr. Lancelin, Lancelin, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, the man of the house, started to worry that Leone and his daughter Genevieve haven't arrived for dinner yet. So, him... And another person decide, okay, let's check on them. Maybe they had to do something. Maybe they caught up on something. So they went to open the door, the main door. And they couldn't. Like, the key would just not work. But they were able to see through, like, a little hole through the door that there was a light glowing inside. Like a candle. So he knew that somebody was inside But nothing, nobody was opening the door. And his wife, his daughter, and the two maids were supposed to be there. So he calls the police. And the police came, couldn't open the door through the front door. So they had to scale the back wall to get in. As soon as they did that and they got in, they witnessed the most horrible, horrible scene this case, the Papin sisters case, is a case that literally is named the one that haunts France till this day because of how gruesome it was. When they went in, they it was blood everywhere. There was blood in the walls. It was blood everywhere, like every corner, blood. There, it, if you like have a weak stomach, like this case is just not for you. Like it's so bad. Like I got goosebumps. I got like sick even like reading articles about this case. When they went in, the faces were unrecognizable. The feet, like the legs, were like cut up. You know, the knee. It was horrible. Um, there were eyeballs, like around the house. Like there's. A part where they found the eyeball, I think, of Leone on the stairs. Like, it was horrible. So, as soon as the husband went in and saw this, the police saw this, they immediately imagined that the sisters, the, the, you know, the sisters, the Pepin sisters were probably also murdered. So, when they went to open their door, because... They were stay-at-home maids, so they had their own room, you know. It wasn't nothing bad, you know. They had heat and everything for it being, like, the the 30s. So, they, like, like, they can't open the door, but then the call, like, the police opens the door. So, when they opened the door, what they thought was, they were thought they were going to see, you know, them, like, dead. But they were in their gowns, like, in the bed. Like, hugging each other. And they just saw, like, s- like some of, like, a bloody things on the side. So they knew that they had something involved. So they, they didn't deny it. Like, they were like, yeah, whatever. They didn't deny it. They didn't deny it. They weren't, they weren't like, oh, it wasn't me. It was a robber. Like, no, they, they played out, confessed. So immediately they were taken arrested. They were arrested at the scene. You know, there was no, like, no thoughts, like, They knew that these sisters did it. Now, they don't know the motive yet. So, 
after their arrests, um, it was, it was very weird because, so Leah, which is kind of like, just follows the lead of Christine because Christine is like the dominant one in the relationship, like their sisterhood. Leah was quiet and was scared and like, you know, nervous following the arrest like when she was like in jail on the other hand christine was paranoid and had a really bad behavior following the arrest like it was bad like she at a point even tried to take her own eyes out like it was horrible um they really missed each other you know they felt like they haven't connected in a long time and some people took this as a sign that the two sisters probably had an intimate relationship and not only, you know, like, a sister relationship. Which, honestly, after reading a lot about this case and a lot about the sisters, I wouldn't be surprised if there was. So, let's get to trial. So, the trial started on September 1933. It lasted 13 hours. Um, and during these 13 hours, you know, it was just evidence and evidence and the gruesome pictures and the details on why they did it. And they were just like, you know, we didn't want to get, you know, hurt anymore. You know, they, she was abusing me and this and that. So uh, it took the jury 40 minutes to come with, uh, to, um, convict them of murder. So. Although they committed it together, they both got different sentences. Leah was sentenced to 10 years of labor, a harsh labor in France. And Christine was first sentenced to death. I forgot the name of the list. I should have remembered. But it's a famous way of execution they used in France before. Where it was basically like you put your head through it and then they just dropped the, like the huge razor and then you're, you're dead. Like your head would be chopped off. Um, but since um, they noticed that Christine was having a lot of mental issues throughout her prison time, they changed it to life in prison instead of, you know, death. But even that you know christine was just not doing okay she missed her sister then she just started to not receive food like she would not want to eat or drink or anything and later on she passed away um in 1937 from this thing i don't even know the name uh kachauya i don't I have no clue um, but basically, I was watching a video on, like, a documentary, like, you know, like, podcast type of video about it. And it was basically telling me that it was, like, when you're basically, like, dying away. Like, you're rotten inside. You're, like, you're just dying. So, she died of that. And I think, you know, it's, it's, it's weird. And then, Leia, you know, she was released a little sooner from her sentence for good behavior in 1941 and she went and lived with her mother clement um and after that really nothing was heard of leia she supposedly there's two things she either passed away in 1982 or 2001 we don't know what ended up happening to the sisters but we just you know, we just know about, like, the murders. And if you search it up, you'll find that this is one of the crimes that, like, haunts France to the core. Like, I think if you go to France, I think everybody would know about this crime. It's like the Ted Bundy case of the United States, but it's in France. It's like the Ted Bundy of France. Um, Although Ted Bundy was a serial killer, but... You know, the crimes were both gruesome. So this is my case for this week. I hope you like it. Uh, or not like it. I just hope you guys enjoy it. 
um this is a really really gruesome case so if you had moments where you couldn't even like hear it i understand it's very hard even when you're researching it and i'm sorry i couldn't upload upload this sooner but i was having some technical difficulties with my wi-fi because sometimes it likes to act up and i don't like it when it acts up so that's it for my case i hope you guys like it um this is my last genius hour project so this is maybe i'll continue maybe it won't it depends but i hope you guys like it take care peace and stay safe ciao